Hey, Steve Donardo here with Trevisa Realty. Exciting day for us. Uh, after 425 days since we purchased this property, I believe it was July 12th that we purchased it. So 425 days to uh, finally get possession. So this is the final product. So from that pile of dirt that we bought back in July to this. So yeah, we're super happy. I just walked through the property now, turn all the lights in on rather. Uh, it's such a beautiful property. We're really happy with this. This is uh, probably going to be like a 10 year home minimum. Um, I don't feel like I'm going <laughs> to, I have a need to move. This was uh, a dream home. I always wanted to build something around 4,500 square feet. This is just shy of 4,700. So this is like perfect right up my, uh, my goal. It was supposed to be on 10 acres, but a half acre in a gated community is, uh, is quite nice. So let's have a look. So yeah, finished product. They cleaned it all up. We had some deficiencies. We went through the property a few days, um, but Dylan, our construction manager, really worked really hard. I mean, they were here last night till about 7 p.m. Three of the construction managers kind of going through all the details. Um, there's a few things that I need to do still, but ultimately it is what it is. It's It was a big project for them too. Uh, I know there's a lot of stress on Dylan because they don't build too many of these houses in the area, so. Um, yeah, it was a huge undertaking for him. Yeah, a few things like the wine cave, we're not happy with this. They're going to replace it, even though they cleaned it up. I remember before I mentioned the screws, um, they just kind of like screwed them in deeper and just put some caulking, but it's not very good. So they're going to replace this whole cabinet, which would make sense. There was a few touch ups, even like the baseboards and stuff. Um, they needed a little bit, like the kick pads, a little bit of caulking and stuff like that. Um, one thing, I mean, just, just if you're buying here, it's not a gimmick. Um, I saw the bug rolling earlier. You see those like, little creatures crawling. You have to hire a home defense, the home defense like team, as they call it here. It's an it's, um, exterminator company. You pay them, you pay them quarterly, and then ultimately they protect your house. You, you live in subtropic weather. It's not like a gimmick. So you'd have to get, we're gonna get it sprayed right away. Plus we have what they call tubes in the wall, which is tubes in the, um, in the, in the house itself. So from the exterior of the property, we get to plug in some, um, I guess poison for the, the little critters and it kind of creates like a, a little uh, base around the, the house itself. So that's obviously the, one of the first things we gotta do. Yeah, so kitchen's all good. Um, yeah, it's not bad. I mean, it, it's not, not like a full custom kitchen. It's the best that, that Polte has to offer. There's um, obviously it's not 100%, but it looks pretty good. It came out decent considering uh, some of the things we did to change. I noticed here, I see the crown molding is there's like, it's actually, they, they even change it because it was worse before. You can kind of see the indentation. And what happened is the guy with the, uh, the spray paint or whatever tried to touch it up, but he sprayed the cabinets down. So they're gonna replace this cabinet because there's some paint on it. And there's another cabinet here. You can kind of actually see it there. There's like, a guy spray bombed it. Um, so he's gonna replace those. Even here, there was a gap up here. You see here, they put a filler in, but there was like a gap. And it was, if you're cooking, it's gonna, you know, all the um, fumes and whatever, the smoke's gonna go up into the actual canopy. So they just helped me out with that. Uh, fridge we're gonna change. This is gonna be our garage fridge, but still a very good fridge. This is all good, even in here, because in this area here, it wasn't painted. So they actually uh, came in and sprayed these, which are great. So at least it's not uh, in your face where it just shows like the bare wood. Yeah, let's have a look. Yeah, property came out nice. Really, really happy with this. This is the pool bath. They're gonna send a cleaner in for the floor. They're gonna actually polish them for us, which is awesome. We really appreciate that. This is our gym. This is good. Yeah, um, Vitek still has to come for the alarm. I already put a car in here. This is all good. I'm thinking of putting a car lift here. We'll see what happens. It might actually be perfect to kind of sit it up tight up here, but we'll see. Or just kind of put it at the mouth of the, the door and then have the uh, rails kind of go high so, and then have like a side mounted garage door opener. But that's at a later date. No rush for that yet. 
Well, it's nice if we especially have a classic car to work um, in the vehicle in the garage, which is, which is great. I finally have to take off my shoes to do this now. So a few things that, that we had to, to, to um, when you're taking possession of the house, look around the railing and, and the, the, like the, um, the nosing here, because ultimately there was a lot of things that needed to be fixed. Um, also the railing, which they did a nice job, because if you remember before, there was an area here where there was a join. Um, they redid it for me about three times, to be honest, and I'm, I'm happy with this. It's not uh, noticeable now. So they sanded and did a proper job, which is nice. I don't care if they made a mistake, as long as it, uh, you know, no one can see it. Even under here, I made them paint here because this is like bare wood. And a lot of the railings too, and, and the, um, the nosing here had a lot of uh, deficiencies on it, a lot of flaws, but we had them corrected. Even here, there was a join. You can sort of see it that it's been painted, but there was like joins that were really, really, um, exposed here because they kind of put this little piece in but at least now it's, it kind of blends which is good uh and this is the master bedroom yeah it's all good just some touch-ups we had to do on the baseboards i see here there's needs a touch up there but i mean I'll, I'll do that myself this was uh what i caught last night where there was a, an actual chip in the tile so they just replaced the whole tile for me which is great we had issues with um the pocket door, it, was, it kept, I guess the way they installed it, but it kept ruining the door around here. So they replaced the door and they they replaced the, or they kind of fixed this. If you kind of see it, like it's shaved here. They used some, like a sawzall or something just to kind of give it more space and they secured it better. So now our door looks uh, perfect the way it should be. This is all good. We noticed here was, um, it looked like it was dirt, but this is actually embedded in the actual tile. So even the you know the gentleman that laid the tile down should have saw should have saw this clearly, right? Um, I'm not gonna have them replace this. They were gonna do it for me, but they would have to take out this whole tile. If it was here, it's different. But now they'd have to remove the glass, remove the whole glass, take the tile out. And then you got this edging here, which is all nicely, perfectly done. And you know what's gonna happen. It's not never gonna look the same. And if the, is the glass gonna look the same? Are they gonna line it up on where it was originally glued? So you know what, it's fine. We're gonna, I'd rather just have the, that, those little dirty marks. It is what it is. Then, then ultimately uh, maybe jeopardize the way this is gonna look later because it's done perfectly. This is our loft. Yeah, go through the property. We went through a few times even prior um, to having our construction meeting or our, um, let's say our PCO. It's always good to kind of go through the house, kind of feel it. What we noticed was there was, see if you kind of see that light up there, um, this switch was over here and it just operated this, this one. Um, so basically um, there was no switch for the, uh, the shower light, or I think it was, I think this was here. Yeah, I was missing one plug. So now like, um, so basically with this guest ba uh, bedroom would have to basically turn on that light and then would have to come out here to turn on the shower light. So we had them obviously correct that. So, um, so that's all good. We're happy with that. Easy fix for them. They can just go in the attic and, and shoot it out. Not the best caulking job, but it's good. They cleaned all the windows for us. Uh, we found some deficiencies on the exterior of the property too. When they painted the the um, exterior, like the stucco, I guess when they try to touch it up, they use like a different coat of paint. Um, so we had them paint the exterior of the property again. I, I haven't checked if it's accurate, but I'm gonna do that shortly. And that is it. Um, I think this area yeah, this still needs to be cleaned up there. There was a lot of, um, let's say, uh, plaster from, from the drywallers over the windows. It's, it's gonna be an eyesore. And, and when am I ever gonna get up there to clean it? So we obviously requested that to be clean. If you see all the bugs in the house, um, I'm gonna have to figure that out. <laughs> Hopefully they die off. Uh, but that's it, we're super excited. So today's the first day of ownership. Again, after 425 days, it was a long uh, journey, but we're very happy and we're very happy to be in this community. It's gonna be like a long-term house, like we mentioned. Um, so that's pretty cool. This is our 
loft view. We have one of the largest gators I've seen in Florida so far. So I guess we're in good company. Have a great day, guys.